Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Ryan Beer Review. As you can tell by this more professional voice, we're drinking a beer from our good friend, J.W. Woodruff. And that would mean it's coming from DeCu Falls Brewing Company in St. Catharines, Ontario. And it says handcrafted by J.W. Woodruff. And then Jamie Woodruff has signed the can. I will point out it is only brewed by James W. Woodruff. Not proudly brewed by James W. Woodruff. But this is DeQ Falls Brewing Lighthouse Light Lager. Sorry, Lighthouse Lager. I apologize. I knew it was 4% alcohol. I knew it was called Lighthouse. And I figured it was for Lighthouse Light. Not just playing on the L-I-T-E Miller Light. J.W. Woodruff is obviously a man or woman of sophistication. Now, what do we got going on here? Built in 1804, the Mississauga Point Lighthouse, or um, Port Credit, is it not? Port Credit Brewing Company, which was named after a lighthouse in Mississauga. was the first on the Great Lakes damaged in the War of 1812. Legend says this beacon of light became part of the foundation of Fort Mississauga. Our brewmaster taps into that same fortitude to highlight this true lightweight powerhouse. All right. Again, if you are DeQ Falls Brewing or... J.W. Woodruff, Jamie Woodruff. Again, not in any way trying to be offensive. Again, beer's about fun. I'm trying to have some fun with it. Uh, if you don't like it, uh, our daughter just came down to ask if she could take the dogs out. He followed her. She forgot them? Yeah, the other two went back upstairs with her. But you're downstairs. Well, of course he's down here. We're both down here. Are you fucking serious right now? Okay, so I'm tr I'm tr I was just the most unprofessional I've been in a long time on camera, talking like this because J.W. Woodruff made this beer. And then I'm like, I'm sorry for it. And then you come out and you flash your tits at me. I didn't know such thing and I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, YouTube. How are you guys? <laughs> sorry, you missed... If, depending on in which order you watch these videos, you may understand what I'm talking about. Because she yelled at me about the things I say in my last video. And then this is what happens to... This This is why I am the way I am, okay? I didn't have so, to say anything. I said it. So, um, again, back to what I was saying is Mr. or Mrs. J.W. Woodruff, because Jamie could be either way, uh... Not meant to insult you, but if you are insulted, the stop button is right over there. Who's there? Who's there? You're not very bright, you know that? Oh, he's extremely bright. He's just not a guard dog whatsoever. Yeah. The Bernese Mountain Dog's like, you pet me? Okay, steal everything. The other two dogs are, well, one of them is like, pet me. And then the third dog is like, I'm going to eat your face. Which makes the other dog go, oh yeah, I'm supposed to eat your face too. That's that's the way our dogs go. If Colleen does not give you the seal of approval, approval, Otis will also go after you. But Judge, Judge will sit there with that stupid look that's on his face right now, no matter what. Okay, so... This lighthouse lager is a little hazy. I didn't expect that. It is the color I expected, but I didn't expect it to be hazy at all. Nice golden color. It's okay, I'm dressed now. I know you're dressed now. All right, Judge. Right, that is just crazy. The scent out of the can is sweet, but nothing really more than sweet. Scent out of the glass. Kind of the same, just 
sweet. And I'm not saying overly sweet or anything, just sweet maltiness, which is perfectly okay. Cheers, let's try it. That was just hanging out of his fur. Is that Otis drool that you're shaking? <laughs> no, that's 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 his fur. Oh, okay. That he's shedding, but it's like in a long string. It's, it's because he still has puppy down. Um. Are you ready to go upstairs? Yeah, you're starting to look less like a puppy. Anymore. I'll be upstairs in a few minutes. If you want to start getting the show ready, I'll start the dishes while we watch. Um. Sorry, guys. This is this has been a very um sidetracked review. Uh, especially after I got flashed. That that just. Okay, so for a craft light beer. For a craft light beer, this is actually kind of higher than I would normally think. I mean, some of my favorite craft light loggers would be things like um, Stonehammer Light. I don't know if it's still made or if it's still the same. Um, Flying Monkeys Anti Gravity Ale, uh, stuff like that that just had a very biscuity, very, very malty, very craft flavor but still being pretty laid back. Those are the ones I go after more so than like the, than like the Muskoka lager or anything like that. And anything with a, with a higher IBU just doesn't really do it for me. And as much as I've been talking like this, I can't say this is done wrong. And I mean, my buddy Chris and I talk about uh, the practice of restraint and they obviously practiced restraint on this because it is very low key. It's a very easy drinking beer. That is easily a good choice for a pub beer, a good choice for a party beer. A good If you want a light beer, a light lager made by a craft brewery and you're local to the Niagara region, this is probably a good bet. Um, it does have a little bit of roastiness that leaves a little bit of bitterness on the back of the palate. If you like English beers, it has that dirty, earthy, copper coin-like finish, which I kind of expect. Forefront is just like toasted bread, multi-sweetness, and then it just starts fading into that, that earthy dirtiness on the back end. This is... This is very, very Vienna lager-ish in a light beer. That's fucking excellent. Oh, excuse me, no, that is, that is fucking excellent. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, James W. Woodruff. That is... I'm going to get an 825 out of 10. I really like that. No, you know what? That's going to get an 85 out of 10. If that was a pub beer around me, I would drink that all the time. Oh, it's so... You know, I said so... So Vienna lagerish, but I think it's because I was thinking about about loggers. This is very... This tastes like a proper English pub ale. Like like a... Like, almost like a mild. Like a mild or maybe a, a, a standard bitter. Maybe, maybe. Ah, like a mild or a bitter, but the lower end of the bitter, not like the ESBs and stuff. <coughs> um, I really like that. That yeah, eight five out of ten. I gotta go. Bye.